Hello and welcome fellow summoners. My name is Kirks and I'm a challenger coach with thousands of hours of experience helping players just like you reach their full potential in League of Legends. So if you're looking to improve your gameplay and just climb the ranks, you have come to the right place. Today we are going to be discussing the upcoming changes to the game systems and overall content for this season. Although these changes won't be as significant as the preseason changes where they redo the runes, item systems and the jungle, they are still far more significant than a standard balance patch. Before I forget to mention it, there's an important piece of information about rank that I'll talk to you about just a tiny bit later. The biggest focus of these changes is going to be on itemization. Riot has been noticing that the current state of the mythic items as an overall system is not satisfying for the higher levels of play or just the community. They really are not happy with how the system is working and how it's being used and therefore they're going to test some stuff out such as changes to the AD carry mythic items and changes to lethality items for the sake of game health. They're also planning to update enchanter items to make them more satisfactory to you. While it's likely that more changes will come in preseason, if these changes turn out to be good, then the direction will be reinforced. However, if they don't work out, they'll explore more divergent options such as more radical changes, including even the removal of mythic items as an entire concept. If that turns out to be the case, then items will be capped, retuned, and restrictions removed. A lot of players, including me, would be very happy to see those changes come, as I was never really fond of the mythic item update in the first place. As a coach, I really know how important it is to stay up to date with the the latest changes in the game. These upcoming changes to itemization could have a significant impact on the way we play, especially for those of us who play AD carry, lethality based champions or enchanters. You really need to keep an eye out on those changes as they develop and understand how they might affect your playstyle, or otherwise you will end up like me with a lot of accidents on the rift. To give you like a little idea, for AD carries these changes could mean the difference between being able to carry a team or falling behind in the mid game, if they don't mentally surrender after losing the first cannon. Lethality based champions champions will need to adjust to the changes to really ensure that they're still able to deal enough significant damage to their opponents. Enchanter players on the other hand will want to pay attention to the updated itemization to ensure that they're able to provide the best support possible for the team given the purpose in their games. Do you want to be one step ahead of the competition and learn everything you need to climb? Then our team of expert coaches including challenger players with years of experience can help you navigate these changes and improve your gameplay. Our courses cover everything from basic mechanics to advanced strategies and our personalized coaching sessions provide individualized attention to help you reach your full potential. Don't let the latest updates leave you behind. Join Pro Guides today and take your gameplay to the next level. In Riot's news dev video, they present an update on Ivert's midscope. This update allows for a jungle buff sharing mechanic inspired by Wildrift, another game by Riot Games. After killing a monster in the jungle, an orb is left behind that can be picked up by LS to apply the monster's buff. This means that both jungler and laner can benefit from the jungle's buffs similar to how Ivan does it with his kit. This update adds a new layer of strategy and teamwork to the game, which was previously exclusive to Ivan. Additionally, they want to give Ivan a more well-defined ultimate ability. My poor Daisy, no! Anyway, according to Riot's roadmap, we'll also get Nico and Drell updates this year. Now that we know that Nico and Drell updates will be coming this year, let me introduce you to some of the other exciting updates that Riot Games has in store for us. One of the most highly anticipated updates is Nefiri, a champion with a dark and scary theme that perfectly fits her creature-like appearance. She's an assassin, or should I say a pack of assassins that loves to hunt? Her gameplay is going to be straightforward and easy to pick up, making her perfect for those who want to jump right in and start dominating. Sure Surely, absolutely most certainly, bot laners will be happy to hear exactly that. The next upcoming champion is Briar, a mythological creature with a unique twist. She suffers from an insatiable hunger that gives us a hint what to expect from her playstyle. Riot also mentioned a bloodlust theme, which adds to the assumption that she might be a vampire, which obviously could make for a very interesting addition to the game. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments below. For those of you who have been waiting for updates for some of your favorite champion, Riot Games has not forgotten about you. Skarna's VGU is going to take more time to perfect his gameplay, so you won't be released until the early stages of next year. Really kind of sad to hear about this since we've been waiting for him for ages, but let's just wait and see. Hopefully it's worth it. Additionally, Jax is getting a visual update later this year, and did you know that his weapon is a lamppost from his hometown of Ikathia? Maybe some of you lore enjoyers could post something into the comments and talk about some lore of Jax and maybe we get like a nice discussion off. Next up, let me explain to you some of the quality of life changes that Riot Games has in software 
for us. First off, they have recently conducted a major bot banning wave, resulting in fewer unwanted bots in your game, including obviously ranked matches. This means that you'll have a better gaming experience and a more enjoyable one, since bots can often be very frustrating to deal with. But that's not all. Riot is introducing the ability to add bots you want to play with. These bots can be great for both new players and experienced players as they want to help you create a less stressful environment that allows players to practice and improve their skills. Furthermore, improved AI changes will open doors to new content which could potentially mean an enhanced experience in the modes of Odyssey and Star Guardian. Do you remember the modes? I love them and I really hope they'll bring them back. I, I can't wait for them to just bring them back and let me play them over and over and over again with my friends. In addition to that, Riot is also testing out an emote wheel from 5 to 9 slots and multiple emote pages, which will allow you to favorite particular emotes and access them easily. You'll also hear dialogue you haven't heard before with Riot fixing around 4,500 lines on 100 different champions and skins throughout the year. Honestly though, maybe that will fix the mental damage that the ally has been slain sound has done to my mind. An ally has been slain. Every time I think of bot lane, it just automatically plays. I can't stop it. Overall, these quality of life changes will make your gaming experience smoother, more enjoyable and give you more options to express yourself in game. So get ready to see some more exciting improvements in the next incoming months. Not to mention that there's an entirely new game mode called 2v2v2v2 that that's being shipped this summer with a brand new map exclusively for this game mode. After hearing about the exciting quality of life changes, I know you're eager for more updates from Riot Games. Well, get ready because the changes to Ranked in 2023 are game changing. With two resets, promotion series changing from best of 5 to best of 3, and updated rewards including hack stackies, chests and more goodies, there's a lot to look at and forward to. And that's seriously not just all. The Victoria skin line has been completely revamped, allowing players below gold to have a chance at earning it if they put in some more time into playing Ranked games. These updates will be closely monitored throughout each split, with the first partial reset happening in July. But that's not all. We need to at least briefly talk about ranked inflation and what led Riot to do what they're doing right now. Ranked inflation has been a big issue in League of Legends ever since the end of Season 8 and start of Season 9. Essentially, it means that over time, more and more players have been reaching higher ranks. This resulted in a shift in the distribution of players across the ranks, with more players in higher tiers than in the past. On one hand, this can be seen as a positive thing. It means that more players are able to experience the thrill of playing in higher ranks and that the game is becoming more inclusive. However, there are some downsides to this trend as well. It hurt the integrity of the ranked system. By making it easier to promote, the system is viewed as less competitive and less meaningful, at least by the people who've always been in high elo. This leads to a decrease in care about solo queue as a practice ground for competitive play. And with the game quality dropping, Riot finally had to find a solution. To offer a temporary Fix, Riot introduced a closed off system that is primarily meant to offer pro players of any level access to quality practice. Obviously, this was never intended to fix solo queue, but something that can be at least used to buy time until Riot had a more clear and well defined idea as to what they wanted to do with their primary ranked queue. Think about this resetting the system to fix ranked inflation could be a challenging task. Many players have worked hard to climb the ladder and may be very unhappy if they were to put back to the rank where they were before. It's also difficult to to determine what the appropriate reset would be and how to balance it so it's fair for everyone. But let's be very honest here. In the past, you could clearly distinguish the difference between a Diamond 5 and Diamond 2 player, not to mention the glaring abyss between a Masters and a Diamond player. Nowadays, however, the difference between the ranks is less clear and the game quality has suffered severely as a result. So what will Riot do in the next preseason? Now we'll have the partial rank reset, maybe a stealth change to LP gains, maybe another approach to ranks in general. We really don't know yet, but if you're as excited as I am about the upcoming changes to League of Legends, then you won't want to miss out on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and leave a like if you want to see more ProGuides content in the future. See you soon.